Anshu, hope you and everyone in the team are safe. Thank you so much for taking time for this, um, for the well-wishers and friends here. Uh, can you please share briefly the situation on the ground, uh, especially the migrant laborers in the cities of India? So I think uh, we need to see the larger picture of this disaster because what happened uh, suddenly that uh, in India, more than the health disaster, it is now the displacement and the and the other other issues, you know, related to the people. And uh, what happened suddenly? The entire focus is on the migrant laborers who are still stuck here and who wanted to go couldn't go, and the and the people who have lost jobs are also a part of it in the in the cities because of the lockdown. Um, that is certainly certainly a huge target given the given the population of India, fine, and the and the informal sector and the and the number of people who are who are employed in these kind of jobs, which are which are pretty insecure right now, uh, we are also saying that uh, if we divide uh, the population in three parts, one is the people uh, in the cities uh, who are who are jobless right now uh, because of the lockdown, and and also it will take its own own time to come back to the normal. Second, people who are already on the way, which we all saw the pictures all across uh, on the on the highways and. Uh, so this is, this is like second category, which is not coming back to cities, but it is a reverse migration going back to the villages. And the third and the most important, but most ignored target in India is the rural population. Because suddenly, uh, already very stretch, I mean, we all know because we, all of us, most of us are working, you know, in rural India to uh, take care of the distress even before this COVID disaster. Suddenly you see that... Uh, that third target, which is the uh, village India, which is uh, the larger population of India, has more people and less resources because they are also under the under the lockdown. So already the resources were stressed, and suddenly because there is no daily income, uh, even for those people, plus these these uh, lakhs and lakhs of thousands, hundreds and thousands of people who have gone there have also added in that population. So I think. That is a stage, and, and, and for next few months, uh, to start with, for sure, we need to, I think it's a question of survival, I always say, that a lot of people are talking about sustenance and all, and I'm saying that it's important to survive before we sustain. So we have to uh, get together to, um, you know, take care of the hunger part right now, and the delivery part of, of food material. And also, as Google, what we are trying to do, uh, so we are up in 20 states, uh, you know, in different parts of 20 states uh, to start with. We have just used that network which we have created in the last two decades. Uh, we are trying to do as much as possible in the cities, right, from literally cooking meals to uh, supporting kitchens to getting the ration kit. But also very in a very large scale, we are, we are focusing on uh, rural India. Uh, uh, including the procurement from the from the local farmers 